Saturday Future has faced heavy skepticism at seemingly every turn of its attempt to bring an electric vehicle to market. That alone is no surprise, as anyone with a passing knowledge of the auto industry knows it is hard to start a new car company. But recent financial woes at Chinese financial partner La Eco have cast new doubts on the EV maker's prospects. Fair Day Future was launched in 2014 by Jia Yueding, the founder of La Eco, which has been explained to Americans as the Netflix of China. La Eco, which has been a primary financial partner of Fair Day Future, also sells electronics such as phones and televisions. The company expanded into the U.S. in October but reportedly has run into financial trouble. On Tuesday it confirmed it is laying off 325 employees in the U.S., or about 70% of its workforce here. The would-be EV maker has already ditched plans for a plant in California, where it's based, and has scaled back plans for its stalled assembly plant in Nevada. Automotive News China reported Thursday that Sunak China Holdings, a development firm, would be injecting capital into La Eco but has decided to take a hard pass on giving Fair Day Future any assistance. The report says that after a visit to the plant earlier this spring, Sunak chairman Sun Hongbin lost confidence in the project, in part because he has doubts about the EV market in the face of its lack of infrastructure in the United States and the fact that it is heavily bolstered by incentives in China. Just four months ago, Fair Day Future was talking up much better numbers. In January, it revealed the FF91 electric crossover at the Seas Technology Show, boasting that the EV made 1,050 horsepower and claiming it could shoot from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds. Its 130 kWh battery pack, laid flat across the floor as part of the company's variable platform architecture (VPA), was said to provide an estimated 378 miles of range. The company said its goal was to put the fantastically fast EV on the road by 2018.